My name is Shanae Dodd and I am the team leader or project leader for Yambungi Windy. My other team members are Kaylin Barrett, he's the treasurer, and Kaya Woodall and she is the admin for the team. So Yambungi Windy actually means listen to one another spirit in my Aboriginal language, Gungaloo language. So it's the whole purpose of this was a cultural enrichment and exchange project. So we took six young Aboriginal children aged from 14 to 17 and we brought them together and taught them culture from laws and protocols to language, dances, song lines and everything in between. Um, and then we journeyed over to Auckland to share our culture over there and we were actually the first Aboriginal group to dance at Polyfest, which is a Pacifica high school festival. And we also presented at, um, you know, Marais, so the traditional meeting places, and also at big offices like Fujitsu. And from there, lots of relationships have been formed. Um, I think it was really cool. It was some of our kids' first times on, on a plane. Um, and it was just really significant because, you know, we went from our old people not even knowing um, that they could share culture because it was illegal to now sharing it internationally, which is exciting. YPL actually inspired me to start my project. So I think me going over to Hawaii for the conference, I was like, oh my God, we're a massive part of the Pacific, but we're not connected to the Pacific or other cultures in the Pacific. And we have so many more similarities than we do differences. And being with other people from different cultures really made me feel, feel proud in my culture and strengthened me and pushed me to want to learn more and revitalize and reclaim our culture. So that was actually the catalyst of it all. And I thought, wow, I've gotten this opportunity. Imagine if I could give this to other young people who mightn't have that opportunity otherwise. So that was the starting point of it all. But it was also... I guess we have issues in community around uh, not knowing cultural identity and not having a sense of belonging and that obviously then leading into um, engagement in the youth justice sector and like the, the criminal behaviour and things like that. So not only have we done this project, it's also inspired us to apply for a separate lot of funding to run this program long term in community in a youth justice space. So, um, but yeah, it all really started when I connected with other cultures at YPL in 2022. I just want Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Australia to be considered part of the Pacific more. I think obviously we reside within the Pacific, but we don't have those deep connections with other, you know, Pacifica people or that deeper connection in a cultural sense, but we are so similar. I feel like we're quite isolated and through this project, I want to build those bridges and we've gotten so much positive feedback, not from only like our community and our mob, but from Māori people saying, come back, like we'd love for you to come to our schools and do some more workshops. We want to see you at Polyfest again next year. Yeah, for our young people, I think it's that they're realising finally that there's strength in being Indigenous, being Indigenous is their superpower and they can reclaim culture. So we had kids who didn't speak language before, but now they've got language dictionaries, they're doing welcomes and acknowledgements in language. It's just given a lot of sense of pride to them, given them a worldview, but not only that opened doors for them. So we've been invited back to Auckland for the World Indigenous Conference for these kids to perform in 2025. We're going to have another group of kids come through next year. Brad, uh, YPL alumni, has contacted us and we're, he's going to apply for a grant and we'll support so they can bring 10 Māori students to Rockhampton. We'll take them out to country and do a vice versa exchange and they're going to call it um, listen to one another spirit in um, Māori language. So it's like a really beautiful partnership I'm like so many good things have come from this Josh who is also alumni um we're partnering with Fujitsu now um to build some really great connections like it's just a dream the connections that have come out of this and seeing these kids not even have gone on a plane to you know traveling overseas and coming home kids who wouldn't even talk in front of people talking on stage in their language and dancing like the results that have come out of this have really blown my mind and I think there's so much power in culture and so much power in connecting within the Pacific and I think I hope Australia does more of that. I do have to say obviously a massive thank you to YPL for the grant. It would not it was the catalyst of this whole thing happening. And it actually gave us the confidence to reach out to other places to apply for grants, you know, other organisations, because it was such a big trip. We did need the additional money. We actually ended up securing um, a large grant from Stanwell, a local power station, and from Ergon Energy, which is an energy supplier within Queensland. So we actually ended up with three um, three organisations helping us, which is amazing because it wouldn't have happened without everyone coming on board. And the fact they actually came on board because they wanted to be with us from the start and could see potential and like big value in where we're going with the program. So just a massive thanks to those people and to 
the mentors that came with me, they were just amazing. <laughs> and the kids, they're just absolutely beautiful. I couldn't have asked for better kids. We chose the right cohort and I'm excited to see their journeys from here.